Oh my God, people, you cannot make this up. Mickey Edwards, the Heritage Foundation, trust. Project 2025 just endorsed Kamala Harris. He endorsed Kamala Harris. Now, if you don't know about Heritage Foundation and Project 2025, Heritage Foundation is a think tank, and they are the ones that are responsible for Project 2025. Kamala Harris, I don't know what they're going to do because they spent all this money, $370 million, on trying to tie Trump to this Project 2025. And now the trustee of Heritage Foundation, the people responsible for it, <laughs> just came out and said, I'm endorsing Kamala Harris. <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't make it up. But what make it even funnier is that liberals were first trying to sell this thing as a Republican came out to support Kamala Harris. I don't know if they had any idea, but it's poetic justice because they've spent hundreds of millions uh, focusing on trying to portray Project 2025 as if it's Trump's entire plan when he has uh, Agenda 47. They're fully aware of that and they've been selling that propaganda. So it's truly poetic justice to see uh, an original backer, the original founder with Project 2025, his name is Mickey Edwards, come out to support Kamala Harris. Now you'll have to see the Democrats go into a frenzy of trying to explain this. And what makes it kind of funnier is that it's a lot of black people really exposing this. It's funny because black people were the target, main target of the Project 2025 propaganda. They kept trying to push this to black people. Hell, even starting up the Project 2025 propaganda push was the BET Awards when Taraji P spoke about it uh, in front of live TV. Shortly after Kamala Harris actually made a brief digital appearance on the Project 2025 at the BET Awards. Let's see what you liberals have to say now that a founding trustee of the Heritage Foundation who wrote Project 25 openly endorses Kamala Harris. So is she pro Project 25 now? Yeah, I want to hear you liberals justify that. I find it very, very crazy just to be in this era now that they push all these things without even having any proofs themselves. They don't even understand what their supporters are. They don't understand what their propaganda, if it has proof or not. They're just told to get a talking point and spread it out, and this proves it. You can't make a mistake like this if they're dotting their eyes, you know, cutting their corners, checking all their mistakes. It's desperation. It's showing that they're doing whatever they can to try to show people that they have support that they don't have. They pushed this entire thing trying to stress that a Republican was coming out to support Kamala Harris. When in truth, yeah, you could say it was a Republican, but it's the Republican with the Project 2025. And all of that propaganda, all of the propaganda started through Democrats. So for you having a Democrat campaign like Kamala Harris that's going to push this propaganda of Project 2025 being the Worst thing since God knows taxes. <laughs> what are they going to say when a Project 2025 trustee, founder of it, endorsed her? Do they just keep the messaging? I don't know. I feel like it's very important information. I might be crazy. I might just be a conspiracy theorist, but I think this kind of destroys their entire argument. But pay attention to how the mainstream media appropriates the lie. They sit there and say longtime Republican Oklahoma legislator and Heritage Foundation trustee is making waves this week. They are putting Heritage Foundation real quick. Heritage Foundation is the company that started Project 2025, not Donald Trump. It shows right there on MSN. It shows right there on MSN. Project 2025. Let's go to their website real quick. And so here on the official website, it shows that Project 2025 is an effort by the Heritage Foundation, not Donald Trump. And it's a USA Today fact check at that. It's on the very front of the website. It's very hard to sell. But what is interesting is the fact that Project 2025 with Mickey Edwards is literally shown on MSN with the Heritage Foundation. So that means it's legit. A Project 2025 endorsed Kamala Harris. Hell, they were saying people that were writers and things that were helping uh, create the quote unquote policies project 24 25 just if they had an appearance with trump they would claim that trump had affiliation the fact that someone has came out and endorsed her that's an official endorsement from project 2025 so i just don't know how they're going to be able to spend this entire thing um in my opinion 
I think this is a big win for Trump, a big win for conservatives, and a big win for me if you guys like, comment, and subscribe.